Hi everyone, my name is Yersa, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Amp Miner S17 Pro and S17. So these are the latest ASICs released by Bitmain. They're going to be coming out to the public later this month, but I just want to go over pretty much the specs today and uh, do some calculations on whether these are going to be profitable or not, and some alternatives if these end up just not working out for you. So let's get right into it. So first things first, right on the homepage right now, we'll see that Bitmain is showing off the shop 256 bitcoin miners we can see they have released four different versions they have the s17 pro with 53 terahashes a s17 pro with 50 terahashes and then the uh, other two which are the s17 56 terahashes and s17 53 terahashes so the main difference between the pro and the non-pro versions is mainly based off electricity from what i found the pro versions uh save a couple hundred watts per unit so that could end up saving you a lot of money down the road if you end up going through the pro units I'm, of course i'm going to suspect that these units though the pro versions will cost a bit more and because these prices are to be determined it's hard to say right now on what i believe is going to be the actual roi 100 percent but i'm going to give you guys some rough estimates of what to expect so let's get right into it so i'll just pull these up in new tabs right now and we can get started with all the calculations for you guys uh, for me, I'm pretty excited with these amp miners right now. I think they really outperform the last generation uh, of amp miners. You know, just about doubling the performance. And compared to like the S9 or S11, you know, they like triple, if not quadruple, the performance. So that is quite something to be excited for if you are into ASIC mining. But let's continue into the calculations. Uh, we're gonna just go down the list. We'll just go by one by one. And like I was saying earlier, the shipping date is gonna be around April 20th to the to April 30th, uh, 2019. So just in a couple days, uh, something to look forward to for sure. Uh, if we just scroll down right now, we'll just get to the specs that we really need to know. Now they have low power mode, they have normal and then turbo. But for these calculations, I'm simply just gonna do the normal mode just because that's probably what most people will do. We're gonna see that we have a power usage of 2,094 watts. And again, that is hashing at 53 terahashes. So if we bring it over to the calculator right here, this calculator, cal will also calculate difficulty it will give you a projected roi so it's pretty nice if you haven't used this calculator before and we're gonna use the power right here so it's 2094 watts i believe we're gonna keep a power cost of just 0.1 now if you live in an area that has better electricity your roi is going to significantly improve just because electricity is generally what really kills your roi not so much always the bitcoin price itself but if we scroll right down we're gonna put in an estimated hardware cost for this, which just say it's gonna cost $2,000. That could be way under, it could be way over, I'm not sure, but just for these calculations, it's just to give us some type of number to be playing with. Now, since Bitcoin has been pretty bullish lately, uh, I'm gonna be a little more conservative with these calculations. If you wanna mess around with it yourself and give it different calculations, feel free to do so, but we're just gonna do a price change of 5% every single month, so every month that goes by, Bitcoin's price goes up by 5%. Uh, right now, that would be considered a very conservative number since this month alone we've already gone up 30%. But we can't always be thinking that Bitcoin's going to be going up at 30%. That's a little unrealistic. So we're going to go at 5% on the more of a conservative side, maybe even 10% if you wanted to do so. But let's just say 5% for right now. I just want to make sure I have all this right. And we'll see that we'll be making a daily profit of $5.75 with current difficulty. And not only that, the difficulty change is also around 5% per month as well. It changes all the time. Sometimes we'll go down in a month. Sometimes we'll go way up. It really all depends. But generally, when we have new ASICs released, the difficulty does significantly spike up a bit. So again, these are just educated guesses simply because we don't have all the numbers we're playing with, such as the hard work cost, which is to be determined uh, at this very moment. It could be released in a week or two. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but when it is released, you could probably do this calculation. Um, I can leave the calculator down in the description below if you want to do the calculation for yourself. But continuing on, we'll see that we'll be profitable in 11 months and 15 days now i don't think that is very good to be quite honest you know that's about a year just to break even and lots can happen in one year uh, in bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general uh, so for our roi like that i don't think it's very good in my opinion but if we did change the price change which to say 10 percent a month you know if we're in a more of a bullish market you're now going to be profitable in seven months and 29 days all right so on to the next unit we're going to do the second pro so it's going to be hashing at 50 terahashes, and this one is going to be consuming a 1,000, 
1975 watts from the wall so we're going to plug that in and we're going to keep everything else the same just so you can have an idea of what to expect so this one's going to be profitable in eight months in nine days of a price change of 10% every month. But if we go down to 5%, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to ROI on this specific unit compared to the previous units. But however, as months go by, generally these prices of ASICs do go down, especially after the first batch or two because the difficulty usually adjusts by them. So with that being said, I think the hardware cost will come down a bit. Now that's assuming that Bitmain doesn't go out of stock and all the prices of all the ASICs start inflating once, like they once were, I think back in like 2017, early 2018, where buying an S9 would cost you around $3,000 for one single unit. All right, and on to the next unit. So we're gonna go on to the non-pro S17. So this is gonna be 56 tera hashes. It is the highest hashing ASIC out of all of them, even outperforming the pros. However, I'm gonna guess that the the power consumption is going to be significantly higher and thus being less efficient than the pros but we can see right here on normal mode we're consuming 2520 watts per unit so let's plug that in right now 2500 i think it's 20. double check all right and let's see what we got here so it's actually the exact same amount as the pro version the lower tier pro version at one year of an roi and if we put that 10%, we're now going to see being, we would now see the unit being profitable in eight months and four days. So let's just assume that Bitcoin, you know, went exactly like this. You know, the good news is if you broke even at eight months, four days, you could still mine for a little bit longer. Probably around then they would release a new ASIC. You could end up selling these units if you want to. Generally, they're going to probably run you $300 on eBay once you sell it off. So you, in the end, you'll come up in a profit. However, there's the opportunity cost by you holding on to these units for that amount of time compared to just buying Bitcoin now, holding on to it and selling it a year later. However, there is something to be said about having that passive income that an ASIC does bring to you, assuming the market is pretty green. But on to the next unit. The last one is going to be at 53 tera hashes. Just plug that in real quick. And it's going to be consuming 23.85. And we can see that we're going to be profitable in eight months and 13 days at a price change of 10 percent per month going back to that five percent though we're going to see it's one year and one month however i do want to say this because the prices are to be determined more than likely the non-pro units are going to cost obviously less than the pro units i was just using 2000 as an example so you can get an idea but more than likely the hardware cost will go down as you go to these lower tier units that they are now offering pretty soon so more than likely, if it's less than $2,000, you could be profiting much sooner, probably in just a couple months instead of a year. So that is something to be said. And, you know, I was using $2,000 for each and every unit here, and that's not very realistic of saying that each unit would be $2,000. The pro version, I could see them being $2,000, potentially even more for the first batch. More than likely, it'll start being much less. Let's just say, for example, it was $1,200 right now for a s17 which i don't know what it's going to be but let's just say it was at a growth of five percent per month you'll reach your roi in seven months and 22 days and if we brought this up to that 10 percent you would then you then roi in five months and 20 days which is actually very good however for some people mining won't make sense regardless and the reason being is going to be your electricity if you happen to have very expensive electricity and if it's higher than 0.1 you know you might not be ROIing very quickly so now what you could do, this is just an option for you, is to then go to cloud mining. So if you're open to cloud mining, I would like to show you Bitdeer. Now they are directly partnered with Bitmain, so you don't have to worry about some third party weird kind of company doing the mining for you. This is pretty much all done through Bitmain for the most part. Now if we go into the prices right here, now the units that will be shown on Bitmain's website will probably easily be over $1,000. Now they do have contracts here with different specified days and a certain tera hash amount. We can see, you know, the 50 tera hashes that they're giving you for their contract is roughly one unit. And you can see if you're paying, you know, that $529 compared to, you know, a couple thousand for that unit, you could reach your ROI quite quickly, especially if Bitcoin keeps going up in price at this time. 
So going this route could be a potential way to go if buying the unit from Bitmain just isn't for you. I do have a video on it and a whole review about BitDeer. I'll leave a link in the description below about that if you want to check it out for yourself. But other than that, that pretty much does wrap up the video right now. I am really curious to see on what will happen with the S17 Pros, S17s, and what the prices will be. So with that being said, I'm curious to see what do you guys think about the S17. Do you think it's something you'll be buying potentially? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you have to say. But other than that, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys like it. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.